Why? Bro, y'all, this is such a big impact. Y'all didn't cause BM to break the fourth wall. <laughs> this is crazy work. BM not even supposed to be on it. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Arlette and BM, y'all keep doing it, bro. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Kites here with my lovely wife. It's just Alex. What's up, peoples? Hey, man. Another catch up by Arlette. She dropped it. I'm guessing she she dropping these because she didn't have the pop the balloon episode for Wednesday because she normally drops on Wednesday. But I it's, feel like one is coming. Yeah, I feel like it's still coming. I feel like she just giving us some you know some little samples, some little what is it? What do they call it? some hors d'oeuvres before you you know you get that main little uh, that main dish. You feel uh, me? But uh, hey, shout out to Arlette. Thank you. Thank her for uh, dropping the content consistently. Hey, she's 2K away from 400K subs, y'all. So if you guys aren't sub to her content, but y'all watch our content, please go show some love to her. Give her a like, subscribe, everything, because she works hard. Her husband works hard. Her crew works hard. But anyway, it's the mic and key catch up. So it's a lot of mics going on, man. Mm. All right, y'all. Let's jump straight into it. Hello everyone and welcome back to oh, my channel. No. It's your host Arlette and we are Dang, what was that? <laughs> what happened? That's the that's the one that was that's old boy's cousin. Who? Uh, you'll see, you'll see. Oh, you, you talk <laughs> oh, you talking about uh priest? Oh, oh. The, the the duo. Okay. All right, but yeah. you know what? Let's see what happens, she bro. She already looked bothered. We're here today with Kay and Mike. Welcome, guys. How are we feeling? Good. Thank feeling you for good. having us. Okay. Of course, you know of what? Of course. So we had the both of you on episode 12 mm -hmm. of Pop the Balloon or Find Love, where you ended up matching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. So is it a yes for you for Yeah, the duo. Right. It's a yes. Okay. And is it a yes for you for him? It's a yes. Okay. We got a match. <laughs> I'll go ahead and take this mic and you guys can go on off. <laughs> yeah, bro. Okay, I remember I remember him now. Yeah, I remember the 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 Fang over Fang duo for all my Naruto fans, bro. So the, the thing about them in this episode, uh Mike, he was chilling. His cousin, the comedian, was going hammers, bro. He was going hammers. He was bro, we caught like, hey man. But you know what? It's all love though. Shout out to them, bro. Oh, everybody holding hands. <laughs> oh. Stop. That's my boy. Nah, so, bro. um, we saw on the show. We got to know James. a little bit about you guys. Don't, you know, uh, don't say his name. Don't plug him in my videos, bro. I'm tired. Well, he told us little tidbits here and there, but let's know a little bit more. Uh, let's start with you, Mike. Okay, I'm uh, Mike. I'm 37 from North New Jersey. I'm a father, a poet, and an actor. And okay. I've been... In and out of Arizona for a few years, and I live in Cali now. And oh, came oh. to the show. Escape while you can, brother. Going on, and felt like I needed to be a part of it. Sent the email, and you know, came on, and I'm grateful for the opportunity, man. I'm grateful for you know the experience. So, okay, yeah. so I mean, like, I know you said you're a poet, actor. How did you get into that kind of stuff? So yeah, I, I was always into like uh, writing. Growing up in church, I used to memorize books of the Bible and want the longest verses and try to, you know, remember mm -hmm. the words because, you know, words just always impressed me. So mm -hmm. I used to listen to the, the lyrics when the songs used to come in the cassette tape and they didn't have the lyrics in the back of the CD book. So I would re you know, listen to the tape, rewind, write the lyrics down. And okay. then that's how I just got caught that's up in great. that. And then I started doing open mics back in 2012. Okay. And then just it, it kind of grew from there. Just, you know, just stay consistent with the work and yeah. started you know putting myself out there so yeah okay yeah, i just something I'm, I'm very passionate about nice so. very cool most definitely all right and now kate what about for yourself let us know a little bit okay well my name is Kay, and i'm an artist a singer a dancer an entrepreneur um i sell lip glosses and lip balms okay. um, i'm also a television that. producer mm. and i'm a lover we remember that <laughs> she, she burned her lip gloss out. I said, oh, shameless plug. <laughs> no, it's all good. Shout out to her, man. I hope her business is going well. Mm -hmm. um, um, I'm also a television producer. Okay. And I'm a lover. I'm a lover girl. <laughs> lover girl. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, how I know you said 
you sound like you're like an entrepreneur. Like, how did you get into, I guess, let's say the lip gloss business? Mm -hmm. Well, I've always been into like a bold lip mm -hmm. in like the beauty industry. Mm -hmm. um, so I was just figuring like, you know what? Let me start selling my own lip glosses. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like you just like YouTube how to make it. Like, how did you? <laughs> YouTube how to make it okay. for sure. And it was really okay. easy and simple. And I just, I add my own oils. I'm into oils mm -hmm. and herbs and stuff. Uh -huh. So I use a lot of natural ingredients. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay. mm -hmm. nice. I'm into making my own products too. Very cool. Yeah. Like what yeah. other what other products? Yeah. Body oils. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hair products, things like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Get into it. Okay, girl. Thank you. It is kinda hot in here, but yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So um obviously as we saw on the show, um, with you guys, how you even came to match, originally, Mike, you ended up popping your balloon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. <laughs> So mm -hmm. I initially popped because she mentioned, I asked her, you know, how she felt about men with kids. Mm -hmm. And then she said, you know, she prefers men that don't have kids. And mm -hmm. so I have two children. Yeah. Um, I didn't let her finish. So I kind of rushed it because, I mean, the, the previous contestant, you know, she popped immediately. And, you know, I, I didn't want her to settle. Mm -hmm. you know, I wanted her to get exactly what you want. You know, the, the dating yeah. market is pretty broad. You know, there's people out there that, you know, may have what, what you're looking for because I'm not the type to settle myself. Mm -hmm. But you know, then she made an exception, so you know. Okay. Okay. So I mean, now that he said it, that's mm, fair. That's fair. That's valid. But it also goes to something that uh, Alex says a lot on these videos when we re react to these. Just because somebody states a pre states a preference, it does not automatically mean you're disqualified. It's just something that they're commonly attracted to. But a lot of times. You'll be surprised how many people's preferences change over time. That's why they say opposites attract. Yeah. That's a bar. That's a bar. Opposites attract. Opposites do attract. Now, that's a bar. I see. Come on, balloon back. Here we go. <laughs> okay. And now, Kay, um, I know like you initially I said, you were a little iffy about the kids thing. Mm -hmm. So have you dated someone in the past with kids that, that made you have that thought process or like what? Actually, never. I've never oh. dated anyone with kids. Okay. Yeah. So for so, you, it was something like I haven't done it. Right. I'm not doing it now. Exactly. Kind of thing. I don't. I haven't done it. I don't know what it's like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like I don't know. Ugh. But and, but then his kids are older too, so it's just like that made a difference for me. For oh, sure. Okay. So if they were younger, it still would have been a pop. Like I, <laughs> leave it a pop. <laughs> I think if they were younger, it would have been harder for me to accept. Pick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I see. So, kind of to jump into, you know, my favorite part of the segment, mm -hmm. since you guys matched. Okay. For those who haven't watched it, because we know some of y'all like to watch all three. Y'all watch the Tippendale reaction. Then y'all watch us. Then y'all watch Alette. Then y'all watch whoever. Shout out to all those channels, by the way. Live. Also, I want to touch on that. Yo, if you watch our videos and you watch his videos. Support. Support both, bro. Don't please don't go to his videos and be like, oh, they're your competition. And don't come to our videos and say he's our competition. Cause we react to his stuff. He been in the YouTube game way, way longer, than, longer us. than us, bro. So it's like, if anything, we got a lot of respect for him yep. and we got a lot of respect for Arlette and any other content creator that does this like we do, bro. Because I'ma keep it a stack with you. This is hard. This is very hard. It's not as easy as people think it is. Turning on the camera and just talking in front of yeah. you. Yeah. Know? It's a lot of studying the analytics and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And we don't know we don't know anybody. We don't know these people. We don't know him. We don't know them. So please don't like we we're not the type of content that we are trying to have beef with people. Like, don't do that, please. It's like working in a big corporation. And you you're you're working in the accounting side, and you finally go over to HR. And like, yeah. Oh, so yeah. you're here. Okay, yeah, that's bro. How it it's is. like please. We don't know of do each that. other, but we don't know each other. Yeah, Tippendale has not done anything to us. We have never had a bad interaction with him. So please don't try to create competition between us, bro. Like it's not. It's not that. Deep. It's not that deep, bro. But um, yeah. Just I just wanted to touch on that. But hey. Y'all know how we do it on this video. Do you think they went out? Yes or no? Put it in the comments. I say yes. Mm -hmm. Have okay. you gone yes. on a date? Absolutely. Ooh. 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 Every day. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my God. Every yes. day is crazy. Whoa, hold on. Every day? Every day. Yeah, okay. Every day. Damn. Uh, um, the first uh, yeah. night okay. of the show. And we, the plan was to meet up with some other, uh, other people from the show mm -hmm. and go to 11-11. Okay. We, we pulled up to the club and 
it was kind of crowded. I kind of wanted to get to know more. That wasn't the environment to mm. do that. Mm. Right. So K is cool enough to like, you know, go with the plan B. We kind of went with the flow. Um, and just ended up having a conversation in the car and making a plan mm. for the next day. Okay. Ooh, talked for a while. Nice. Um, and uh, we really just hit it off. Like, it was just natural. Like, nice. real comfortable from the jump. And then uh, next day, I'll let you... Tell her about the okay. Let us know. Ooh, <laughs> hold on, I ain't never seen no couple on this catch up doing no, like I'm lob it to you. Go yeah, ahead, I'm gonna lob it to you. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hold on, they making me a little happy, man. Hey, hold on. <laughs> sure. Well, first of all, I want to say that like I came here intentionally, like mm -hmm. wanting to like if I did match with someone, I made the time for it. Good. Like I intentionally yeah. made a later flight the next day to go back to home. Mm -hmm. So I just told him, you know, I'm free all day tomorrow. Let me know what you want to do. Yes, so we had energy. our plan. Ener <laughs> yeah, energy. He was like, I want to see you first thing in the morning. I'm like, okay, Ooh. cool. We're both morning people. Mm -hmm. So we met that morning and we got smoothies. Oh, that's nice. And uh -huh. he took me to the river. What's the name of that river, baby? Uh, Tempe Town Lakes. Tempe. Ooh, she caught him, babe. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, you okay. know what, bro? That, that's, that's her that's, man. That's good. That's good. That's her man. That's good. And I'm glad that there's there's this, this, this second couple this week that have been actually honestly making the effort to take it to the next level. And that's what I like because y'all got to understand you people that go on that show and you guys get matches and stuff, you guys are a reflection of our Let's product. So when you guys go on there and y'all crash out, wild out, and then do all your, what y'all do on like IG and all that other stuff, it's a reflection of her because she matched y'all together. You feel me? So like, please take her show seriously. Take her brand seriously. Her and BM work very hard. Please take it seriously. Be telling. Check that out. Okay. Something like, you know. Yeah, we're hanging out there, talking right. on the bench. Right. And then we went to get Babe. some food right. um, at Chopped. Yeah, Chopped. Yeah, I love that place. I got some you good like healthy salads. stuff. Y'all yeah, talk about smoothies. Yeah. I know. I mean, she mentioned on the show. She, yeah, she's right, serious I, about eating well. Yeah, I see that. I see yeah. that. Like I said, like I just you. finished my um, detox. I did like a 30 day fruit only detox. So oh, no. I was still on my health well, I'm, like I'm always on my health click. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we did. Um, and then after that, he dropped me off to do my interview with Driva, who's mm -hmm. also on the show. Me and her are really cool. Nice. Yeah, we hung out there. And then he took me to the airport and then that was that for their, our first day. It was beautiful. beautiful. Nice. Okay. And then after that first date, you went back to LA, that is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, How was that with the community? I know, I think we're in it, we're the same time right now, right? Yeah, yeah. It's the same time. Yeah. yeah. No time zone difference. So she had to fly back, you know, I took her to the airport mm -hmm. and we made a plan. Um, I actually already had, uh, I'm an actor, so mm -hmm. the, I was shooting in that area already. Mm -hmm. I was planning on being in town a few days, so I actually flew to California. Mm -hmm. um, we met up and we've kind of been inseparable since then. Wow. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's Congratulations, what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Slow, love steady, love don't place. got no distance and love don't got no limit. No, sir. It don't got no distance and it, got, it ain't got no limit. If you really are feeling that connection with somebody, you will do any and everything to pursue after that person, no matter how thick or thin it gets. So I'm glad to hear this because we didn't hear some nonsense on this show. People talking about they can't drive 30 minutes to go see the person that they quote unquote are feeling the vibe with. Like if you really feel this way about this person, you will talk to God about it and God will open the door and make the pathway for you to get there. It's all up, it's all up to your intentions and your integrity, honestly. Mm -hmm. And even if you can't get there because y'all in a whole country, y'all find a way. Shoot, y'all find some coconut radios and call each other for all y'all need to. So I like that. Cali, enjoying ourselves, Bob. You know, okay. you know. So you've been in Cali this whole time. The whole time, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me not. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> so. <laughs> Once you went out to Cali, that, that was, was how soon after? Literally, it was like, like three, a day or two. Like two, oh, three days maybe. Yeah, he was yeah. serious. He was yeah. like, I need to come see you. Like, oh, my ASAP. God. I was like, okay. Okay. Come see me then. <laughs> okay. That's energy I like. Yes. That's our new oh, so, so before, before, 
together. Exactly. <laughs> oh, so God. before you guys went out there, you guys like FaceTime and calling, texting. Oh, okay. Like, how is it? Like calling, you guys that texting, plan? all that. Yeah. yeah. Texting, they calling. Look so they look good. good. Yeah. Something that we could do. Maybe, oh, you look like Papoose. It's right easier to come and like right, handle a long distance situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I knew Cali was like, Cali's right next door anyway. Yes. But yeah. I know I knew my plan was California mm-hmm. and it, it just, it worked out. It you worked know? out, Definitely. yeah. So. so Mike, you went out to LA like pretty quickly, like within three days. Mm-hmm. Um, did you already have a spot out there or how did that go about? Like how was the living situation? Yeah, so I'm from New, New Jersey, but my, my mom, she's actually from, uh, Riverside, California, mm-hmm. and oh, living. Oh, shout out to the IE. Thugs. Hold on, watch how you. Hey, thugs. Don't talk about us, bro. Everybody in California, thugs. All right, that's fair, but leave leave the IE out. I'm IE born and raised. In Indio, California, so okay. I already had. What that mean? Oh, I almost. My uh, brother, he lives in LA. Uh, so, I mean, California is where people go in my industry to, you know, make moves and networks and stuff like that. Uh, so, Kelly's be been my stomach be careful since here, about 2016. Got so, it, okay. her, her saying, uh, you know, L.A. was like, all right, that's not, that's like, like saying right next door. Like, you know, so <laughs> okay. It wasn't a big decision, so that's why I didn't take a lot of time. So, nice. You know. He is very, he's correct. If you guys are pursuing acting or y'all trying to be them little viral YouTubers or y'all trying to be whatever... Cali is the place where you can make a lot of connections. But I will say this. When you get out here, if you... Cali is the place where they, they'll extort you. Yeah. So be, you yes. be careful. Also, when you come out here to SoCal, I can't speak for NorCal. Hey, my brothers, remember, I know you not street in the streets, but there's some things you can't wear out here, bro. There's some things you can't say out here. And it's not... We try to politic you. If anything, I'm doing this because I want to help you, bro. When you come out here, adapt quickly, please. Adapt quickly. All right. Okay. Now, since you've been in LA, like, what are some things you guys have gone into? What had you? How have you guys done? Um, we've been to the beach. Okay. That's one of our favorite things to do. He knows I love Ew. going to the water, mm. so he took me to the beach. My first time going to Santa Monica Beach. Mm. Um, Santa Monica Pier. We work out to together. Party. Um, dirty, go to movies, dirty, dirty. Dinner, of no course. More. It's cute though. Um, the pie, the pie. A little the bit of traveling. Went to okay. Malibu. That oh, was fun. No. Um, we do everything together. Swimming. I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> babe. What else did we do? <laughs> what else, babe? We that's two. I mean, she she also attended one of my shows that I've had. Right. Uh, yes. Section fourteen. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a play that we filmed in Palm Springs. It's mm-hmm. about. Shout uh, out the to survivors, them. Uh, like black and brown families who were forcibly removed from their homes, mm-hmm. and we just kind of devised the piece to kind of express, watch that. you know, the the emotions and the seriousness of mm-hmm. you know some of the secrets of Palm Springs. You know, people think you know luxury resorts mm-hmm. and stuff yeah, like yeah, that, not but that. Yeah. Have a, a dark past as well, dealing with racism and wow. yes, know, and just justice and you know treating people like like human beings. And yeah. stuff. Bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. If you see people online and they're sitting there talking about Oh, segregation, racism, all that stuff. It don't exist. I'm trying to tell y'all. It do. California is, quote unquote, the mountain pot. We got every race, ethnicity, every gender, every everything. We got every. Yeah, we got everything in here. And when I tell you racism is existent. It's thick. It's thick, boy. And it come from people and races and ethnicities you don't even expect it to come from, bro. It, it, sometimes it'll come from your own people. On me. <laughs> and so that's what I'm saying. Like, y'all, at the end of the day, don't trust nobody and keep your circle small. And don't tell your, your left right, hand your right, right hand what your left hand yep, is doing. Just like the Bible says, don't tell your right what your left is doing. Don't tell your left what your right is doing. Keep your wits about you. Yep. So you said that was a play? That that was a play welcome to Kelly. We, welcome uh, to Kelly. We filmed at the, it was two weekends at the end of June. We had about six shows, and she was at every single show. So She was. That's the she play was, That's what she I'm was talking about. She was at every single show. So that, that showed <laughs> oh. me a lot, man. That meant a lot to me, you know, for her to, to come out and just, you know, be there for me. You know, yeah. I, I, I appreciate things like that. You know? It'd be the small well, things, talented, bro. So it was nothing for me. I love seeing him on stage. Aww. And, you know, he... 
um, one good thing about the show is it was like his original poem, like his original work. Mm. So it made it even more special. And he opened up the show every night. Wow. So, oh, I don't so know. Nice. I love being there for him. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's amazing. And now, um, so now that you guys are a lot closer, you know, in the same state now, all of that stuff, like, how's the communication been going? All It sounds like you guys are doing really good. <laughs> the, the communication is uh, pretty much, we, we face to face, or we just communicate. Period. Like, we, gonna... we, like, I think coming on the show, uh -huh. we both had some... They living together? I right, man. The work prior to being on the show, okay. like I, I want to express this, like how serious I took the show mm -hmm. as far as like being open to love. Mm -hmm. That's what the name of the show is, right? Yeah. So I feel like I wouldn't come on there to play any games. Mm -hmm. I did the work on myself. I met Kay. I felt like she did the work on herself as well. Mm -hmm. And then so us aligning, things just kind of flow naturally, you know. Yeah. I'm, everything that we do doesn't feel forced. It doesn't feel like any pressure. It's kind of just organic. Like she's such a dope individual, and Aww. I just, I just oh, appreciate I like that, having her as a friend. And that's general, solid. So. Thank you, babe. <laughs> that's three babes. Oh my gosh, they're three so babes. cute. They, they practically the same person. Now. Oh, it, that's uh, the other half. Okay, okay, so any final thoughts from you know? Okay, let's start with you. What are some final thoughts? You know, anything from your experience for mm. meeting Mike, whatever it may be. Mm. Um. Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you and your lovely husband, Mr. BM, for bringing me <laughs> on to the BM. show. Yeah. Um, even before I like I applied for the show, I, I said a quick prayer to myself. For some reason, it felt right to do. So I was just finishing watching an episode. <laughs> Something was like, apply. And I said a prayer. I applied. And then a few couple hours later, BM called me like, hey, you know, asking me questions, prepping me for the show, telling uh -huh. me like you were interested in having y'all. I was like, okay, guys, I see what you're doing. <laughs> and, I, and I had already had plans to move to California. I'm from Texas, mm -hmm. Dallas, Texas. So it was like perfect. It's like, I'm gonna get to California and I'll go to Arizona, I'll do uh -huh. the show. Like, I don't know, it was amazing. It just worked out. Everything is working out how it's supposed to be. Yeah. And like he said, we did the work before we got on the show. Uh -huh. The work to me um, means it's like important. getting to know myself better, mm -hmm. fasting, right. doing my detoxes, right. lots of prayer, lots of journaling about the type of man I want, the type mm -hmm. of husband that I want. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was reading and me. I even shared those things with him. Like he saw the date that I wrote everything and like he God aligns so with everything that I want. Yeah. You gotta remember, the Bible says that God will give you the desires of your heart, right? Mm -hmm. And here's why it's important that when you make your desires known, you also want to be making sure that you have been repentant. You've repented and you've started to uh, deattach yourselves from a lot of the bad habits and the bad things that you've been dwelling in because your desires can be corrupted by outside forces, right? Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> when you got spirits of like jealousy, anger, envy, greed, hate, all these spirits attached, is the they, they, they bring partners with them. And now your desires of what you really want or what's really necessary for you is getting molded and shaped and manipulated. And so now you're asking God for something that he already knows is not what you really want nor need. It's something that the world or that sin has started to make you request. Because even though God knows your desires, he also knows that the heart is deceitful. Right. So if you're not putting in the work for your desires that you actually want and you're putting on the work for the desires of the world, he'll give you that too, but it's going to come with a lesson. Yep. And he going to humble you every mm -hmm. single time. And we are a prime example. Every time we've messed up, God has made sure to give us our humbling and we repent every night. Mm -hmm. yeah. In a man, in a husband. Uh -huh. So um, it's just been a beautiful divine journey. And I'm just grateful for the show. An I opportunity, and my <laughs> thank you for coming on. Like you guys are just absolutely amazing. Okay, and like, what about for you, Mike? Any final thoughts? First, I'd like to start with. Um, I have worked on a project. Um, my my cousin was killed in 2018 by law enforcement oh, in North New Jersey. So, I wrote a book um, dedicating that to him because it means a lot. Um, and I went through a lot. I went through a lot of uh, a, a dark, you know. I spend a lot of time in the dark, you know, just trying to put the pieces back together from that. So the book is a big dedication that uh, he was my best friend, literally. Hey, so shout out to his there book. There was a boy yeah. there that I feel like, you know, was missing. So mm -hmm. I just had to do the work and um, 
I feel like God puts people in your life for a reason mm. when you yes, need sir. them the most, yes, right? Sir. So I pray, I mean, I set set the intentions and, you know, um, on the show I said that I know what the truth is, right? Mm -hmm. And the truth is that uh, God is love, right? Yes. yes. Yep. And it's about um, loving yourself first, loving the people that he puts into your life and the people around you. Right. And, you know, when you know the truth, it, it, it you know that God is speaking to you. Mm -hmm. And Amen. you have to kind of just follow his lead and not wait for certain things. So, right. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes, you know, things from the outside may look like, you know, you're moving fast, but when when a man knows, he kind of knows. Like, right. yep. you know, so That's what I about know you. for a fact. What do you mean? That's what they were saying about you. You moving fast. Who, me? Mm -hmm. Oh, my family and all that? No, um, just people in general. Like, Oh, yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people said a lot about my decisions because I got married. I proposed, I proposed to you when I was 19. We started dating when I was 18. I proposed to her when I was 19. We were married when I was 19 and we've been married ever since. But I told people this, a lot of times, a lot of people you are so yearning for stuff that they rush into stuff and they create this cycle of you rush to get the relationship then you rush through the relationship and now you end up rushing out of the relationship and so with me and you everything came at its own timing at its own timing yeah, i didn't press for you mm -hmm. but when i did when i did finally get with you i followed everything that the bible and that my my uncles and my aunts and my everybody taught me on how to properly you know be with you I got a job. I didn't focus on school no more. I focused on the job. I focused on my intentions. We didn't sleep around. We did We did everything more focused on being serious because I told you from the jump, I don't date to date. I date for, I want to have a family. I want to build this. Mm -hmm. And so we got married. We got married. We started dating in February. We were, we were engaged by December and then we were married by uh, June yeah. of June of next year, of that next year. And it was because at the end of the day, God, I know for some reason, well, I know it's it's on purpose. God has put people in my life permanently because they were the exact people I needed in my circle around me. And Alex was the perfect person for me. So, yeah. The fact that Kay was put into my life for a reason. I know that. Just like he's talking right now. else like you. You are an amazing friend. You are genuine. You only can pretend to be somebody for so long. Right. But the truth eventually comes out, and you have been consistent. You have been kind. You have been sweet. Yes, sir. Um, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You know. Ooh. Ah! Yes, Lord, for the rest of your days. Hold on. What? Is he? Is he doing what I think he's doing? No, 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 no. Hold on. Comes out, and you have been consistent. You have been kind. You have been sweet. Um. I want to spend the rest of my life with you, you know? Oh and I, I don't feel like I'm rushing. I feel like it's natural. So, I mean, honestly. Oh, my. Are you serious? Nicole, I love you I love deeply, you man. Too. And we are moving at our own pace. Oh regardless God. of anybody else's opinion, you are a special woman, man. And when a man knows, he knows. And I believe from the bottom of my heart that you are my person, my best yes, friend, Lord. the person I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with and just have a good time, man. We just enjoy this ride oh. together, man. So will you do me the honor and be my wife? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yo, I'm oh crying. Oh, bro. bro. Let it out. No. Oh. Uh, nah, this this is what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, sir. When you move intentional, when you move according yes, to God's sir. Name, this is what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. That's what I like to see. Oh, wow. I'm I'm speechless. And just because y'all don't get married right away, don't mean that person is not meant for you. Right. Oh my wow. gosh. He had the ring ready and everything. Wow. Yes, sir. Ooh. That's what's up, man. Ooh. That's what's up. Oh my God. Ooh. 
my body is on fire. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he said, put the camera. BM said, nah, put the camera on him, bro. Take it off me. <laughs> oh my gosh. He did such a good job. Yo, I'm literally crying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Oh, baby. Yes, sir. Oh, Man. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Oh, oh, bro, that's crazy. Let me see it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Wow. Bro, y'all, this is such a big impact. Y'all didn't cause BM to break the fourth wall. <laughs> This is crazy work. BM not even supposed to be on it. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Arlette and BM, y'all keep doing it, bro. Congratulations to them. God really bless them for their soon-to-be union. Oh, my gosh. Oh. All I can do is clap, dog. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, wait. Dude, I'm crying. Skip. Oh, my gosh. Oh, bro. Aw. That's what's up. You good, baby? Oh, man. Yeah, it, it, it won't make sense to a lot of people. A lot of people will be like, dang, they moving really fast because the episode was only a couple weeks ago. They moving really fast. It won't make sense to a lot of people. But sometimes, like, when you know, you know. Yeah. God, like, purposely and intentionally puts people in your life for a reason. Right. For a reason. And sometimes it's just... Hey, this God, this is what you want me to do. This is what I want you. This is what I need you to do. Right. Love don't got no time frame if it's real. Bro. Aw. Oh my gosh. So uh, I just want to say that we did not expect that at all. That came out of nowhere. I was over there, you know, recording, and um, I'm, I'm like, is this really happening? Like, I'm trying to adjust the cameras and everything. You know, you just blew us all away. Everybody in the studio. Is absolutely speechless right now. You know, we are out wow. of words. We cannot believe that this happened. Um, so I want to say congratulations to you thank both. Thank you. Congratulations thank you. to you both. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um, I hope that you both listen to each other. Yeah. I hope that you both work on things together. Yeah. You know, put God first. Yes. And we really do wish the best for you. You know, best of luck with everything. Um, I'm sure, you know, everybody wants to follow your journey. I mean, I want to follow your journey. So, you know, make sure you invite us to the wedding. Hello, <laughs> we're the little wedding. Hello. <laughs> That's what's up. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, we are. Yeah, this is what pop the balloon or find love with Violetta Molly is all about. Yeah. You know, yes, real people coming to find real love, and you know, moments like this. Special moments like this is what it's about. So, that's real. That's no, real that's talk real too. talk. And I'm going to say this right here, right now. I will always be in the defense of it's not the hosts that be messing up a lot of these relationships. The hosts are doing their job by getting y'all there so y'all can establish the connection. Yeah. A lot of people are sitting there because a lot of these contestants have went wrong and they fell out and they did this and they acted a fool on social media and y'all get mad at the host. Y'all get mad at Arlette. Y'all get mad at all these other people who are doing the balloons. It's not, it's not their job to guide you to act th right through the, to, to act like a good person or act like a, a man who wants to be a husband and act like a woman who wants to be a wife. It's not their job to do so. There are let and BM shout out to them because that's God. That's God work right there. Yeah. And it's not them that is causing all these other people to fall out. It's all these other people coming in there with intentions outside of what their purpose is. And it's messing it up for them. They're doing a good job. They and just broke the, the stereotype and the statistic that because nowadays black people don't want to get married. Nobody yeah. wants to get married anymore. Yeah. There you go. So shout out to them. It did that. I appreciate both of you for really trying. We appreciate you, know. you guys, man. Yeah, Get out the show you. and the opportunity to even meet somebody that could be from across, you know, different states. And, you know, it's your yeah, perfect man. match. But having this as a platform is 
It's just genuine, man. I appreciate you guys for real. Okay. Yeah, Thank and you. I do want to ask you, Mike, mm. what made you decide that she was the one? Mm. 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 So, so without just saying, oh, when you know, you know. Yeah. But it, it, it kind of is that because when you know, you just know. Like she checks all my box, my all my. Uh, she checks all my boxes, so to speak. Um, and she's just a great person, a great friend, um, just a great teammate, somebody I could just have a conversation with and feel like, you know, I just, I just know, like, this is someone I'm meant to really spend a lot of time with, spend the rest of my life with, and we're supposed to just do our thing, man, so when you know, you know. And I, I know that it seems like it's, it's very fast. Um, how do you know that you were sure about this decision? So, this proposal, you're saying the culmination of work already done, right? Mm -hmm. I was doing work on myself to become the highest version of myself. And mm -hmm. I feel when I met Kay, she was also doing the same work. So when we met, um, it just seemed like perfect time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when we met, it seemed like perfect timing. And because faith without works it's is dead. dead. Yes, sir. God rewards your faith, but he also is acknowledging of the works you do as well. So it's a great thing to walk in faith, but it's an even greater thing that you put your faith into action and you work. If you have faith that God is going to give you a husband, start showing God that your faith is as powerful and as glorious and as dedicated as you say, and start putting the work in yourself to be a, a wife that can be the perfect match for the husband God prepared for you. And husbands, be the perfect, caring, loving husband for the wife that God is putting in your area for you. Mm -hmm. That is putting your works and your faith forward. That's how y'all got to operate in this. Y'all, a lot of y'all ask God to give y'all something, but y'all do nothing to demonstrate the amount of effort or dedication you want God to put towards you. Or you lack, you lack the, the, the fruits of what love really is. Yeah. Love is patient. Love is kind. Yep. All those types of things. And it's not about days on the calendar or, or time passing. It's about, you know, spiritual time spent, like mm. really convening with God and really trying yep. to get in tune and really tap in and, yep. you know, just following his pace and making sure you're aligned with that. And yep. like I said, it doesn't feel like pressure. It doesn't feel rushed. It feels natural. Like I, I'm, oh. I'm a deep thinker, so I, I do take my time with things, and I'm, I'm not just rushing in. I'm not an emotional person like that. So this is a, a decision I've made that I know for sure is, is something that oh. I'm supposed to do. So. Oh, well, well, I mean, we are absolutely thrilled with that, and yeah, like we said, we we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And. Um, we pray that everything works out for you. Thank yeah? you. Congratulations. Yeah, we appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take this one. Okay. <laughs> well, y'all, that is our first Pop the Balloon or Fine Love proposal. Okay. 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 Ain't nobody topping that. <laughs> okay. Talk y'all talk. Talk y'all talk. Oh, man. Well, congratulations again, thank you guys. You. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you. And everyone at home, thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll catch you all next time. Bye. That is so good. That was great. That was great. You know what? People need to see some stuff like that. It's a little more positivity. Yeah, man. Let's get some more positive content out in the world. Also, people, I, I encourage you guys, find, find God, bro. Just find God, man. I know some of y'all feel like y'all lives don't need it. Some of y'all feel like y'all like it's not it's not for y'all y'all can't do it a lot of y'all got church hurt a lot of y'all been going through some hard stuff i get it but please i pray i pray for y'all please find god man just find find him bro you don't gotta pray outside to find him bro and he's not as far away as you think he is. yeah he said i'll never leave you nor forsake you so please y'all please take some time work on yourselves find god and that's all I got to say. I'm so happy for them, bro. I'm so happy for them, too. I'm happy for them. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Peace. Let us know how y'all felt about this in the comments. Also, if you guys have some stuff y'all want us to watch, you know, hit us up. Join our Discord. You can talk with us. Come chill with us. It is what it is. Shout out to Arlette BM. Shout out to Mike and Key. And we're so proud of y'all. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Peace.